Hey you going everyone, Corey Bailey here. Decided to go for a little trip to Sydney to have a look around and go to the attractions. So here's a little video on it. So you get to see the uh, bridge and the opera house. And Sydney also has another landmark, famous landmark, and that's the Sky Tower. So we decided to go up that. If you can see little, all the little people down there, look like little ants from the top of the Sky Tower. The Sky Tower is really good. I strongly encourage everyone, anyone to go up the Sky Tower if you go to Sydney. You get that, like a, a full 360 view of the city and all the, like all the horizon, and it's really awesome. Alright, the first sort of attraction I went to is uh, Madame Tussauds in Sydney. I've always wanted to go and see one of these Max Museums, but I've uh, never been able to go to like London or America to go and see them. And when I booked the Sydney trip, I didn't even know there was one in Sydney until right up before I went. And I was uh, really excited to go there and have a look. I particularly liked seeing Ray Ma from Home and Away as Alf Stewart. I found that was pretty cool to look at actually. And uh, the, the one I was most excited to look at was Steve Irwin. He's one of the coolest human beings to ever live in my opinion. And it was really awesome to go and kind of meet him even though he sadly passed away almost nine years ago. And uh, I, I look up to him and all the stuff he did. And I also got a really cool picture of him as you can see there. Next up was Wildlife Sydney Zoo. It's like a wildlife park for all the Australian animals. Uh, I almost thought, I think this was probably the best thing I went to um, while I was at, in Sydney. Uh, just, they've got really nice exhibits and all the animals look pretty happy in there. And yeah, they've got a nice, cool, really cool butterfly house as you can see here. You know, and you can have a touch of uh, some butterflies and butterflies yeah. land and your stuff. Really cool um, Tasmanian Devil exhibit. You can see this uh, little the Tasmanian Devil soon. Here he is coming up. There he is. Looks almost just looks like a black chubby dog, really. They're in quite a lot of trouble, the uh, Tasmanian Devils. They've got an infectious cancer wiping them all out, so it's pretty good to um, see them and see what they're doing to help that problem. He's, he's one of my favorite animals. My new, new found favorite, the Australian dinosaur, the cassowary. You'll see more of him in the, when we go to Taronga Zoo later in the video. So basically how, how this wildlife park works is it's, just, it's planted right in the middle of the city in Darling Harbour area of Sydney. And it's just got a massive roof which is just netted and it's really cool like so none of the birds can fly away it's, it's a really cool place to go and visit it's like a artificial little piece of wildlife in the middle of the city here we got a gigantic crocodile statue there's the uh, quokka well known to be one of the cutest animals alive today. <laughs> and here we go, here's the main event. This guy's at the end of the uh, walkthrough, the uh, Wildlife Sydney, and it's his name's Rex, and he's a saltwater crocodile, and he's, I think he, they said it was he was 16 foot, so that's like, they don't get much bigger than that actually, they, it's like one of the, they're the biggest of the big ones and he's massive and his enclosure 
is pretty awesome as well. You can see him just stepping up on the little bank there, having a little rest there. Really cool to see. Next up, we went to Sea Life, Sydney Aquarium. It was really nice, to, really peaceful looking at all the sea animals in there. What I'll do is I'll let just sit back, relax, and look at all the beautiful wildlife with the nice, relaxing Finding Nemo music. Enjoy. Alright, next morning we were off in the uh, on the ferry to go across the uh, harbour to Taronga Zoo, which is a massive zoo, one of Australia's best zoos, and it's really cool uh, how you get into the zoo. You actually go on the gondolas and you go on, you ride all the, you ride over the zoo and you see all, you actually go over the elephants. And it's a really cool experience. Almost, almost reminds me of Jurassic Park, how they fly in at the start of the movie, and they are, it's just, you know, it's just really awesome, as you can see here. They had a lemur walkthrough exhibit, so you could walk through their enclosure and get up close to the lemurs. That was really awesome to do. The giraffes, they've got a really good giraffe exhibit as well. It's a really good zoo, it just, the shame when we went, it's going through major renovations and a lot of animals were off display, so 
That was a little bit disappointing, but it's not too bad. So we saw heaps of things, such as this Australian sea lion here. Look at that. Look at that guy. Australian seal, and then oh, the gorilla. Gorilla's really cool. The silverback gorilla is hiding in this picture. I couldn't get video of him. He, he's a massive guy. You know, just a baby gorilla there. It's really cool to watch. Everyone loves seeing him. And then here's another saltwater crocodile. And here we go, we've got another Tasmanian Devil video here and Taronga Zoo's Devil um, enclosure is really awesome if you can see in a minute after he gets out of this pool. Yeah, you can see look, they've done a little nice cool road painting and the road little painting on the floor to make it look like a, you know, roadside. And they've got street signs and everything, that's really cool I reckon. Here we go, there's a little slice of Jurassic Park here, look at the gates, and then we've got the dinosaurs in here. Cassowaries. In my opinion, cassowaries are the closest things we have to dinosaurs today. All it needs is a little bit of imagination, you can see them as walking, breathing dinosaurs. Prehistoric looking birds they are. Now the Taronga Zoo's reptile enclosures are, it was just there were so many reptiles and snakes and everything, it was fantastic. Here's a little iguana here I got a picture of, he's pretty cool. Komodo dragon. Now this guy, is, I was really excited to see this guy, this is the Inland Taipan or Fierce Snake, the most venomous snake in the world and I've always wanted to see one and here he is, the most venomous snake in the world. The last attraction we kind of went and visited it was the Australian Museum and purely to go and see the dinosaur section because my local museum in Perth, they don't have a very good collection and uh, yeah so here we got like really cool sculptures of Dinonychus hunting a little dinosaur there got a few claws and stuff it was really it was good but the thing is I was going to see a T-Rex but they didn't have a T-Rex they had a Giganotosaurus which was still pretty awesome look at him he's pretty huge just I was a little bit disappointed because they said they had a T-Rex or I presume they did anyway and all they had was a half a T-Rex head so there's an Allosaurus head there um, Sukumamus head skull There's the T-Rex skull there, but it's only half of it. It doesn't even look like it's cut in half. Oh, well, guys, thanks for watching my videos. That was the end of this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm over 200 subscribers now. Massive thank you for everyone to watch. Sorry I haven't posted a video for at least two weeks, I think. But, um, yeah, it's a bit hard to do it with the full-time job. But I'm going to keep on doing them. We've got a few coming up now. Uh, keep watching, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.